Cape Cast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to Cape Cast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times. We are lucky enough to have here today in Chatham the state's shark expert, Greg Skomel, is with us. And Greg, will we see great white sharks off Cape Cod this year? That's a tough prediction to make. Um, I can tell you that based on their historical distribution, white sharks do occur here off the coast of Massachusetts every summer. So uh, whether we'll see them or not is a different story. Now last year we did have some sightings. Uh, could you just bring us up to speed on what happened here last summer in and around Chatham? Well, we had a, a, a situation last summer where there were a number of white sharks spotted um, over a five-day period. And we had the opportunity to get out there and put some uh, uh, high technology tags on them and follow their movements after they left here. But it was a pretty interesting situation. Tell us what it's like to tag a shark when you get out there and, and what, a harpoon kind of thing or what? We work very closely with a gentleman by the name of Bill Chapralis, a professional harpooner who was able to place these tags perfectly where we wanted them in the backs of each of these sharks. So uh, it's exciting. Now, I did go out on the pulpit with Bill, and uh, being that close to these animals is pretty riveting. And what information have you gleaned from these tags so far? We've been able to look at not only uh, where these sharks go in the wintertime, um, which turns out to be, for the most part, off the southeastern U.S. But we also get a sense of how long they stick around here. And it turns out that, for the, for the most part, the sharks are here through the month of September. And then they, they begin to trickle out of here and move offshore and move down south. And then they spend their time traveling down to, to Georgia, Florida, and those areas. Are there more white sharks here, say, around Chatham and around Cape Cod than there used to be? That's a really difficult question to answer. Um, you know, it looks like there might be more white sharks, but we can't tease out the effects of more people out there looking. You know, we live in a time where a lot of people are on the water all the time, whether it be kayakers, scuba divers, surfers, fishermen, boaters, you name it. People are out there, and with that many eyes on the water, what could be perceived as an increase in sharks could actually be just an increase in more people seeing sharks. If there were more sharks out there now, are there some reasons you might think they're coming in greater numbers. Are there things that are drawing them here potentially? Yeah, in this particular area we're seeing a, a recolonization of the gray seal colony. Uh, and, and what that means is gray seals are expanding their distribution from up north, uh, spending more and more time here, actually spending the entire year here. They've got a, a breeding colony uh, off the coast of Nantucket and I think it's that gray seal colony that may be attracting white sharks uh, in close proximity to Monomoy Island. Any evidence that the water is warmer, white sharks like warmer water, they're here, the global warming thing? Uh, very little to no evidence to support that. I mean, white sharks are actually a, a more of a, a cooler water shark. It turns out uh, while they don't particularly care for water less than, you know, in the 40s and 50s, you know, they don't typically go into water much over, you know, 70 either. Are there reasons for people, tourists who come to the Cape, who come to Chatham, to be concerned about white sharks and any kind of unpleasant interaction? You know, when, when it comes to interacts between sharks and people and shark attacks, what I like to do is fall back on statistics. You know, our last shark attack was in 1936. It was in Buzzards Bay. Uh, we only have three uh, documented shark attacks in Massachusetts, so it's really not something from the perspective of probability that people ought to be concerned about. Tell us about white sharks, uh, their lives, their power, what, what they're doing out there. Uh, incredible animals. They are probably the single most uh, popular animal on the planet, if you think about it. Um, people are in tune with white sharks above all other sharks and sometimes above all other creatures. Um, and they are remarkable in that uh, um, what people don't realize about them is they have a very unique life history and a unique uh, ecology. Um, they're built very differently from other species of sharks. They're, they're unique in that they're able to elevate their body temperature. They can swim uh, extremely fast. Uh, they can penetrate waters that other sharks can't go into, and they're a very dominant predator. You know, when a, when a species of fish can switch from eating um, smaller fish to, right up to marine mammals, it, it tells us it's at the top of the food chain, so to speak. So a hot day in Chatham this summer, you wouldn't have a problem going for a swim here at Lighthouse Beach, would you? Well, there's a lot of things I'm going to take into consideration. Um, the proximity of seals. All right, I don't want to swim in close proximity to seals simply because seals can be dangerous and that which feeds on seals can be dangerous. I'm going to take into consideration the currents. 
you know, what's the tide like? I mean, this is a, this would be a dangerous place, and not because of sharks, but because, you know, it, there, there, this, there are unique oceanographic conditions here that can be uh, dangerous to people and to swimmers. So, you know, and I'd also want to be careful driving to the beach. You know, <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep in mind, there's a lot of cars on the road, and you're more likely to get hurt in a car accident than you are, you know, by any of the creatures that are living on Cape Cod beaches. Are you guys going to be out tagging again this summer? We do have plans to uh, to continue our tagging efforts, and if we see white sharks, and I, and I really do couch that as a big if, you know, there's no guarantee that we're going to have opportunities to tag more white sharks. But if they're there, we're going to we're going to get them, and we're going to get them with a, a whole suite of sophisticated electronic tags. So, Greg, if folks on Cape Cod happen to see a white shark or think they're seeing a white shark, what should they do? By all means, please report it to us, the Mass Division of Marine Fisheries. Report it to the local authorities as well, particularly harbor masters and. Um, natural resource officers, They'll, we network very closely with them. And if you can, in any way, whether it be a cell phone camera or whatever you got on board, take a picture, take video, 